Hey guys, what up? David here again with another video. But before we start the video, I just wanted you guys to know that we will be having a Amazon gift card giveaway on the thousand subscribers. So if you want to have a chance to win that card, make sure to be subscribed and leave a like on this video and you will automatically be in the draw to win a hundred dollar giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys later period can sometimes be tricky. And often, we're taught to hide the fact that we're even on our periods. It never happened. But why? It's the human body, damn it! So with the help of artist Sarah Levy, we're taking period shame and flipping it on its head. It's ladylike, and today we are painting with our menstrual blood. I'd like 10 million people to hear that you've done something stupid. That's my joy in life. My name is Sarah Levy. I gained notoriety for my portrait of Bloody Trump. In order to paint with our period blood, I have to collect my period blood, which means that I have to use a menstrual cup for the first time. And I have to confront my fear of suction. It's sick, stupid, outrageous, baloney, liar, baby, dumb, wise guys. Are you kidding me? There are times where you take the cup out and then you just get those like long membrane strings of blood, kind of like pulling cheese. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Embrace that cheese pull. So when painting with blood, is it just kind of like a one-shot thing? Because you can't really erase it, right? That's what I thought, and that's how I painted Trump. But since painting it, I've learned that you can actually erase using saliva, Ugh. which is super awesome. I can handle any bodily function, but I cannot handle spit. I, I can't even date someone with a juicy mouth. <laughs> no! Kill yourself! Die! Today! Taking that first tampon stroke completely changed the game for me. And I was just immediately empowered. Ooh, clut. This is proof that tampons don't absorb shit. This is my blood, it is my life. This feels weirdly normal. Oh, got a good little chunker. I like that silence of concentration. <laughs> A favorite moment while I was painting is when I was working with my little chunks and I would be like, Sarah, come look at my chunks. And she would run over and be like, oh yeah, nice, that's cool. It's fucking crazy. This wow, we really just collected our blood and did this. I never thought I'd say this while painting with period blood, but I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> I'm working up an appetite. I was more nervous about doing it in general. Once it was done, I was like, I don't care what people think. I'm done, ladies. I would high five you, but I have blood. Yeah, on my we'll hands. Uh, we'll <laughs> refrain from the high five. Time for lunch, and then we'll put these bad boys on display and ask people to look at them. Yep. Oh, you got a bitch fucked up. You hear me? You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. People are lining up. I didn't think I was gonna get nervous, but now that I just hear voices outside the door, I think I'm a little nervous. I'm fine. I'm gonna tell people I didn't paint on it. I just like squatted over <laughs> it. Open the doors. Go with the flow is open for business. Check them out. Who made the fruit? I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> it's cookies. That's so cool. <laughs> but I'm not an artist, so it's open to interpretation. So you felt it necessary to paint it pepperoni pizza with your period. <laughs> a lot of people didn't quite know what it was. I'm not that offended though. What is that? Is that a strawberry? I thought it was cookies. <laughs> it's cookies? Oh. And are these cookies? Do they almost yes, look like? they are cookies! <laughs> I was yes, gonna say cookies are. or nopales. And it kind of made people guess and it made them interact with period blood, which they probably have never done that before. Mm. Chunky. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's quite chunky. I was a little shocked when some female coworkers were like, ew, you know, and like initially. And then I'd come up and talk to her and, and we got her to change her mind. You need to shut the fuck up. Blinky legs. <laughs> People were pretty on board with it. We work at a very accepting place. I mean, it makes me really disappointed about what I've been doing with my period blood. It never looks that cool. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Blood has such depth and interestingness to its texture, is what I just learned. If I had any advice for somebody who's experiencing menstrual shame, the person who's shaming you or the structure that is shaming you needs to grow up. Because honestly, this is the birthplace of life. I was like terrified and like super bummed out when I first got my period. But like if someone had come to me and was like, let's paint with it, I might have been a lot more excited. 
I wasted so much time trying to like hide tampons and hide pads and stuff. Now I love just marching around with my period products. I'm like, who wants to talk about menstrual cups? I'll talk with you. Who wants a tampon? Let me chuck it your way. It's just so much more liberating. And it's also fun to see people squirm a little bit. <laughs> So Sarah, thank you so much for coming and showing us. This day was amazing. It was really cool. Thanks so much for having me. I had a blast. So, painting with our menstrual blood. Lady tested. Lady, Lady. Period. period. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I love you.